Yeah, Matt, and I just think they're not having good at-bats. They're not having team at-bats. And I want to show you a little bit of what I mean by team at-bats, right? Because there's quality at-bats and then team at-bats. This happened on Saturday, okay? This is bases loaded, one out with Lux hitting. And right now, the worst thing that can happen for you is striking out. Now, I understand you're facing a guy in Duval who's throwing 100 miles an hour, kind of erratic, kind of good slider. He gets him 2 0 right here. This is a situation where I want to see the ball up in the zone and just make contact. The worst thing that can happen, again, it's a strikeout or a double play. He throws him three sliders, unhittable pitches. Now we get with Mookie Betts, and now he gets him now at 101 miles an hour, 1 0, 2 0 with that nasty slider. He understands by watching Lux's at bat, he's going to sit slider. That 3 0 slider lets me know that the whole at bat's going to be based on sliders. In 3 1, he gets a good hack right there, but again, it's a, it's a pitch where you want to do damage with instead of just taking your hit. Now, I want to take you into the ninth with Bellinger. First pitch swinging, first and second. By the way, they, they are a team that likes to take pitches. Right now, after the seventh inning, they're swinging at first pitches 57% of the time. All that tells me is there's a little bit of panic in there, and they want to be that guy. I'm going to take you into Sunday, and I was watching this game live. Austin Barnes right here with Chris Taylor, who hit a double to start off the game. He gets him right here, one, two, throws him a nasty slider. He's battling. It was actually a good at bat. But again, that one out by Bellinger popping up with no outs was crucial for that inning. Throws him a slider, kind of a backdoor slider, and gets him swinging. With Mookie Betts right here with two outs, this is a battling situation, right? This is a situation where you have to be the guy. You have to be the reason why we're tying this game up. And that really, that really just doesn't happen. It was kind of a forceful at bat. But what I take from this at bat and what I take from this inning is the fact that these guys are swinging first pitches and they've gone very cold, guys. I, I think this whole month of June, it's been very bad. Guys are hitting under 200. They're not really swinging the bat as much. They're, they're trying to force things. And I think it goes back to simplicity and why they're so good. They're so good because they take pitches. They're a team that likes to have longer at-bats. They're a team that likes to kind of pass the baton. Right now, they're not doing that so much. And, you know, you wonder why they've been struggling is one guy falters, another guy falters, and everybody kind of wants to take that into consideration and say, don't worry, I got it. That's not how it works. You have to grind at-bats no matter how good you are, and you have to simplify your approach in order to be successful. And, you know, they were great, obviously, at passing the baton when they were really on a roll, and they got to get back to that.